Welcome to Land Academy. I'm Jack Butella. I'm Jill DeWitt. We show you how to buy real estate for half of what it's worth. And sell it on the internet really fast. We, we are, are Jack, Jack and Jill, and this, and this is, is the Jack, Jack and Jill, Jill Show, show too. too. With over 15,000 completed transactions, we're the experts at acquiring property. Of all kinds, not just land. For half price and flipping them for way more. All right, let's get this show started. Jack Butella with Jill DeWitt. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Happy Friday. Welcome to the show. <laughs> In this episode, Jill and I talk about five reasons to outsource bulk mail offers and not do them yourself. It's more like 50 reasons, but we're going to try to stick to five. And knowing me, we'll it's going to be 50. 50. <laughs> Before we get into it, let's take a question posted by one of our members on landacademy.com, our online community. It's free. Cool. All right. Josh asks, I now own two 10 acre plots that are adjacent in a wooded area in California. Yay, congratulations. Yeah. Paid $8,000 total. I would like to sell for cash since I really need an infusion for more mailings and acquisitions. You got Smart. the concept, man. Should I split them up or try to sell together? My starting cash sales price for both together would be around $24,000 based on Landwatch and other comps. Would it be smart to break them up so it's a lower price for a cash buyer? I know what I I would do. Me too. You want to go first I and I'll go second? I bet it's the same thing. I bet it is the same thing. I would post them uh, everywhere you possibly can on the internet. Don't just focus on Landwatch. And I would uh, list them as separate postings, but write one after another. And you and you would and you would say in each posting, hey, I own the adjacent property. Uh, I'll cut you a great deal for a certain amount off if you want both of them. But it's first come, first serve. And That's exactly what I do. Chances are the person's going to buy both. Exactly. They'll, they'll bring their brother-in-law in or something like that. Mm-hmm. And I've had that. Was Me in too. The, where, and then times. they buy both and then they can go out there and pick the one they like the best. Because mm-hmm. they've, they've told me this, that they did this later on. I'm like, congrats. They, they're just so happy. You know, happy buyers. So mm-hmm. they buy both. They pick the one they want. They sell the other one. And it pays for the first one. Yeah, you know, what I love about this, Josh, is that you're not so much the even the two property thing, but, you know, yeah, all right, you spend eight grand, you're going to generate 20, probably, it mm-hmm. sounds like, by the end of the day, and now you're going to go buy some more property. That's mm-hmm. the whole point to this. Uh, spend a little bit of money on the first deal, first few deals, generate a big bank balance, don't go crazy and spend it, spend it on more land, mm-hmm. and just keep going and going and going until you've got some serious money. Then you can make, that's why I tell people, start small, like you just said, and then when you have... 30, 40, 50, whatever it is in the bank. Now you can start making some different decisions. Right. So. Hey, if you want, uh, if you have a question or you'd like to be on our show, reach out to either one of us on landacademy.com. Today's topic, five reasons to outsource bulk mail offers and in parentheses, don't do them yourself, please. Jill, what are your five? This is me to the show. Okay. Here are my five. I will go through them quickly and then we can talk more if we want about Perfect. each one okay number one do you want to be a printer <laughs> that's, what, that's, what, that's actually one of my, what okay. business are you in you want to make a deal maker yeah or, a, or do you want to be a like commercial do you want this a commercial equipment in your all this equipment in your garage that's number one <laughs> number two they confirm all the addresses via software and things like oh, that that's, that's their business too. we're gonna get to talk about that in a great deal because okay, cool. people don't get that Thank you. Number three, postage, bulk rates, can't beat it. That's right. Number four, the paper, all the ink, everything around it, bulk rates, bulk savings. Expensive, expensive, expensive. And then last and final, my number five, this is my absolute favorite, your family will love you. (laughs) Seriously. (laughs) Oh, because you have more time? Well, not only do you have more time, we're not all sitting around the dining room table licking envelopes. We never want to do that. Right? I've done it. Right. So that's my five. So let me preface it by saying this. I have done this all the wrong ways. That's how I actually know that we do it the right way now and have been doing it the right way for about 10 years. Here's my five real quick. It's cheaper. Number two, it's faster. Number three, it comes out perfect. It's all professional. It's professionally done. You're you're sending a professional message uh, on professional grade paper to a seller and asking them to sign their, to sell you their property for less than, than it's, you, they know it's worth. Number four, post software that Jill alluded to. 
when you send your data and your documents to a commercial printer, they run it through all kinds of software. They have to, and I'll explain it in a second about why. They have to to get their special bulk, it's called a bulk mail rate from the post office because that software m- makes it so much more efficient for the post office to start scattering stuff all over the country. And then finally, the last one is anal- an- you get analytics with a commercial printer that you don't get by uh, sitting at your coffee table and doing it. And you don't get the analytics with the wrong commercial printer, by the way, too. Mm-hmm. So, shall we? Yeah. Let's take them one by one. Okay. It's cheaper. Let's look at the different cost scenarios. Let's. This is how a commercial printer works. Uh, this is the 35,000 foot basic view. The first thing a commercial printer does is they go get a bulk mail license, and we're going to use just a, a regular business letter uh, for the, from a financial standpoint to explain how this works. You have a few options. If you want to send a regular letter, just a single letter, you put a stamp on it, right? It's mm-hmm. what, 49, 49 50 cents? cents. 49. And then you print the letter out, you write the letter, you print it out, and it you know, prints off on your desk, and you stuff it in there, and you lick it, and you send it. That's option one. Num- number two is you can uh, send it to a commercial bulk mail person. Well, why can they just? Why do they get away with charging me forty nine cents? Isn't it that the price of, sta- of postage? No, they apply for and promise to do in exchange for a way cheaper rate from the post office a bulk mail license. So in a in a regular, it's about thirty cents right now. They can through running through software and, and really helping the post office out uh, by delivering it to the actual post office in a way that that's very much more manageable than to them than showing up with a bin like a closed basket bin full of letters like we all have done exactly <laughs> so in that for in exchange for that they're rewarded by price so it can get it can get lower than 30 cents for them to send that so they can just charge you it's a win-win scenario they charge you the price of a stamp you don't have to do any work and they make a little bit of money go ahead well another thing to point out just because you're spending less money doesn't mean it's any less efficient that's the point I want to make too. It's more efficient. It's more efficient. It's exactly. It's way more efficient. Oh, if I'm putting a real stamp on there, I know it's going to get there faster. No, not no. necessarily. It's actually not. It's because yours is. I mean, this all pre bundled with with um in a certain order that goes really smooth and convenient for the post office is is going to take priority over 18 random Christmas cards that are going out here and six you know kind of things and they're handwritten and they can barely even read them. Right. So let's think about that. Thank you. So that takes care of cheaper. And then at the end, we're going to, we'll, I'll run you through an exact, you know, what happens when you send a thousand, I'll run you through the exact example and why it's so much cheaper and faster and better. Well, well, I can do it right now. Number two is faster. So you now you, you're writing one letter and then you have what's called a mail merge. You have all kinds of data for, let's say, a thousand letters, right? And everybody's got a different first name. They've got a different last name a different APN, Mm -hmm. a different legal description. Well, all of those make your end letter or your end offer to very, to the, each specific person. It makes it look like you just sent it to them. Mm -hmm. That's huge. Exactly. So can you do this on your desktop computer? Yeah, you can. And, but you're going to have to run then a, you know, a thousand letters up through your printer. What's going to happen? You're going to run out of toner. You're going to run out of paper paper. and then you're going to go buy more and you're going to end up going to Staples instead of somewhere smart. You're going to do like we did. You're going to find yourself looking at these big <laughs> machines and almost pulling yeah. the trigger on these $40,000 and $50,000 and $100,000 machines, yeah. which are nuts. Right. Don't need to do that. Yeah. A lot of years ago, we thought Don't we were going to get in that business. And we realized that's crazy. <laughs> so half the letters are going to come out at the end. There's going to be toner all over the place. It's not professional. Mm-hmm. So. No uh, one can sleep because you're doing it in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's this issue with software. So um, when a commercial, a bulk mail a good bulk mail printer gets your your uh, data set and the letter that you want to send. They run it through software to make sure that the post office agrees with that with the list and that all the the uh, you know the data is live. The, the where you're sending the letter is actually a live real address, so there's no more return to sender. So that saves the you know the post office loses their butt on return to sender situations. So they mm-hmm. love that. They love when you get if you run it through the software. The post office loses their butt. <laughs> it's hilarious. I mean, they lose their butt anyway, but they lose their butt way more. I mean, they have to send it twice. They send it there. It doesn't get there. It's not a right address. They send it back to you. What the heck? Right. Now they do twice as much work for the same amount of money. Exactly. So it really does make a lot of, uh, wow, it's thundering. 
That's that awesome. Great? I love it. We're, we're clearly in, not in our studio in, right now. We're in Scottsdale, and it's like when it rains here, everybody celebrates. Uh-huh. So that takes care of the software piece, and then there's analytics. And my, my number five is analytics. So you can find out with the right bulk printer, you know, when, when uh, the, you can pr- watch on the internet or on a dashboard when the each letter gets to the owner and the whole thing so it, it just is overwhelmingly there's no reason let me be real frank about this the takeaway is this never send out letters never 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 ever sit at your house or your office and do a mailer like that it never makes sense never if you're sending five i mean you're not sending five let's it just, doesn't matter even I mean, if you send five well this is my point that's let me follow me on this one if I'm only sending five, maybe I don't need to do upload it, but even at that, you do. So my point is you're not sending five because this is your business. You're not messing around. You're sending 1,500. Am I going to handwrite 1,500? Oh, heck no. That would take two years. That means I'm not an acquisition person. I'm a letter writer. I'm a, I'm a stenographer is what I am. Right. So I'm not doing that. It, there really is no argument, There's I no think, argument. for doing this yourself. That's right, Joe. Period. No matter whether you're doing fifteen hundred or fifteen thousand, you know there's no way. And going and getting the equipment and doing it all, bringing that in house, boy, we've talked about that. That's one of the reasons people love us is because hey, we we've, we've been there. We've 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 made some mistakes. We never made that mistake, but we looked at it and and did all the work. And and it definitely does not make sense. Yeah. You know, unless you want to be a printer. So what we've done, Jill and I have done, is uh, negotiated because we have a very large group that sends out mail often. Uh, negotiated an unbelievable deal with a extremely professional, you know, up to the second IT performing commercial uh, bulk pl- printer here in Scottsdale, and we pass that on to you. So regardless of whether you send five letters out or five million, it's the same price, and it's always cheaper than a stamp. So, uh, and you know it's going to get delivered. You can see when it's getting delivered, and the whole thing. And we're not ready to release it yet, but the product's just about done, and and we're actually pretty proud of it. So. Mm-hmm. It's just, I love, you know, once in a while, once in a great while, you can really just sit there and say, yep, this is black and white. Yeah. It is. There is no, there's no gray area here. It makes absolutely no sense to send out mail yourself. Yes. This is the coolest thing on the planet right now. I got to tell you that we're in like sitting and there's a thunderstorm outside. You can, it's raining, you can hear the thunder. I just love this. Yeah, me too. It's so good. It's so cool. I'm trying to think what else I wanted to say about that yeah no matter how much you think you're doing oh you know what else I, I, I know you touched on it Jack but I want to circle back around I think some people think that you need that personal more of a personal touch like a really a handwritten or a a signature and all that you can put all that in you can you could have that's what I'm saying you can have your signature you know in there you're you sign it and and if you want to do colored you don't need to but you could but what um and I know it's kind of another show but it's way the letters formatted is really what makes it stand out. This is just the delivery process and just do it the right way, the cheapest way because you are the deal maker. You should be looking at properties. You should be finding the areas. You should be putting the yeah. formulating the offers. You should not be spending a week of your time getting them in the mail. That's the last thing you should be wasting right. your time on. And the last thing too you want to be worried about is when are they going to get there? Right. You know, you need to be watching on a computer screen when the stuff's getting delivered. Uh, you know, you want as much detail as you can, and you just don't get that by doing it yourself. You also don't get it with a lot of a lot of commercial printers out there are not software driven the way that the the one that we use is. Right. Where it's really truly beneficial, and you can see have control. You know when the people are going to call you back. Right. It's pretty cool. It's awesome. I'm excited about it. If you can't tell. I know. I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> Very glad. Join us in another episode where Jack and Jill discuss how to use information, that's me. And inspiration, that's me. To get just about anything you want. We use it every day to not lose our place on the page. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, there's, I don't know what, it's all, it should be routine by now, but okay. <laughs> I, got, I got excited about it. I just love this topic. I, I, I love when stuff is, is, it's like, oh my gosh, it's way more efficient now. Exactly. Every day to buy property for heaven's what is worth and sell it immediately. <laughs> Get it in there before Jack loses his train of thought again. Just kidding. <laughs> oh my God. I'm just kidding. I know. You are excited. You are not alone in your real estate ambition. Hey.
cracked me up, man. I know. Yeah, well, it is a great. I know I am. It's so good. Is that what distracted you? It's really cool. No. Oh, okay. No, well, honestly, it's. There's a lot more to say on this, but th- really, the whole point is this. It's so easy. Yeah. You don't have to do a meal merge. I know. You know, you don't have to learn all that stuff. It really, you you nailed it. The takeaway is this. You want to just eliminate all these back office functions mm-hmm. one by one. Okay. And this completely eliminates mm-hmm. it. It's cheaper and better and faster and way more effective. This is one of the single biggest time wasting things you could do in this business is if you are really focused on the mail part of it and getting them out, you know what I mean? And and the actual stamps and envelopes. Yeah, it's you, not just doing it. If you are ordering stamps on Amazon or envelopes on Amazon, knock it off. <laughs> yeah. Shouldn't be yeah, doing yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't you shouldn't like do you want to have all these office supplies in a closet somewhere? You don't want that. No. Paper and envelopes and toner and printers and uh, and you just it's not you're going to get a substantial number of letters are going to come back the no, the amount of money that you save on a per unit basis is staggering first of all number two all the no, the stuff that postage that you actually pay for in the end is going to get delivered mm-hmm. so you can i've seen 10 percent return rates on some of these older lists mm-hmm. that's awful so coupled with the data that with real quest data and how mm-hmm. we do it and then with the this printing scenario it doesn't get any better yeah so it's it's a it's a good thing, man. Mm-hmm. It's you, a no brainer, I think. What are you doing this weekend? I I don't know. <laughs> what are we doing this weekend? I don't know. I haven't thought about it. All I thought about was work this whole week, even though it was kind of a holiday week. Oh, no! What I'm not going to probably do. Well, I might do it. Shoot, Saints are playing the Rams. I might have to watch that game. Oh, just cause football woman. Just cause. <laughs> Should let me how that, know how that game goes. Just cause. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> Information and inspiration to buy undervalued property. And have a good week. We, we are, are Jack, Jack and Jill, Jill and this was, was the Cash Flow from, from Land, land show. show. We are the experts at acquiring property. Of all kinds, not just land. For half price, just so we can flip it for way more. And really fast. Thanks for listening. You are not alone in your real estate ambition.